this Daily Dose of Dale entitled Seven Days Can Make One Week Activity. Let's look at it. Okay, so here we go. Another segment on our seven day series called Seven Days Can Make One Week. W-E-A-K. Today we're going to talk about activity. Activity varies in everybody. Activity is just what you're about every day, what you're doing, what takes up your time, what kind of energy you expend. I mean, just activities, the things you do. Okay, first of all, we want to look at our cycle of activity. We want to look at our inclusiveness of activity and how the growth and strength might develop from that activity. So, first of all, the cycle. We want to embrace the cycle of work, rest, recover. Now, work could just be something as simple as picking up a, a big bucket and then setting it down over there, and then your muscles are strained, and then you uh, rest from that. Your muscles have a chance to heal and recover, and they, they get a little stronger from it. That's very simple. But uh, if you begin to look at all of your activities in that cycle, if, uh, for instance, if you're doing the same thing over, 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 constant, 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 not resting, not resting, not recovering, that's not good. That's not a cycle. That's a straight line. So we need to avoid constant pressure. Pressure's okay. In fact, pressure is helpful if it's done in cycles. Uh, we need to include relief valves, something built in that keeps it from being so much pressure building up that, that it... We have explosions, <laughs> the bomb goes off or whatever. It helps prevent explosions when we do that. So this cycle is important in our life uh, if our activities are operating in a cycle. Okay, uh, then we need to be inclusive. Uh, we need to apply this principle not only to our body and exercise and physical activity to have this cycle, we also need to uh, put it in for our mind. The things we've already talked about, this cycle of, uh, say, if it's reading and studying and then resting from that and giving it a chance to sink in and, and recover and then go back to do some more of it. And with our spirit, we, like I said, we don't want to continuously be meditating all day long. Oh, no, uh, 24 hours a day. OK, that's not productive. Uh, a little bit of that uh, uh, and just a variety. So take this cycle of work, rest and recover and uh, apply that to your body, apply it to your mind and apply it to your spirit. OK, so growth and strength uh, are the results of cycle living. Now, that's not bicycle living, that's cycle living. So when you do these things in cycles, you get growth and you get strength. And if you'll begin to do this and realize that, you know, seven days can make one week, but seven days can also make you stronger if you're working in that cycle. And variety, they say that variety is the spice of life. Well, actually, when it comes to activity, variety may be the spice of life. Because that variety of activity, uh, the levels of activity, the pressure that's exerted, the time we allow for recovery, the relief valves that we put in, all of these things uh, working in a cycle can help us to grow, grow stronger, and uh, grow in our capabilities. So keep that in mind as you continue to go through this uh this little uh, series of seven segments called Seven Days Can Make One Week. Remember, can make you stronger, too, in all these areas. God bless you. Get on your cycle and go on down the road. So seven days can make one week, depending on your activity. It is important to evaluate our activity each week to make sure we are implementing a cycle of work, rest, and recover. That not only prevents burnout, but also helps us grow and gain strength. This advice should be applied to all aspects of our life, including body, mind, and spirit.